Welcome to the wild heart of Africa, a land where nature's most incredible creatures roam untamed and free. From the thundering strides of elephants across the savanna to the stealthy prowl of leopards in the dense jungle. Today, you will meet one of the most extraordinary predators in the world, known as the most successful hunter in Africa, African Wild Dog. It is a wiry, tough pack hunter that kills by means of attrition. These wild dogs are neither hyenas, wolves, nor dogs. Even though they belong to the Canidae family, they have their own genus. The African wild dog, unlike other dogs, only has four toes per foot. The weight of adult wild dogs ranges from 18 to 36 kilograms or 40 to 79 pounds. However, Males are often slightly bigger than females. They all have different personalities, different skills, and their own quirks. All wild dogs have a sense of fun, a gentle soul, and a willingness to work together. The African wild dog, also known as the painted wolf or Lycaon pictus, is one of Africa's most fascinating and endangered carnivores. These dogs are also sometimes called the hunting dogs or African painted dogs. They have a colorful patchy coat, large bat-like ears, and a bushy tail with a white tip that may serve as a flag to keep the pack in contact while hunting. No two wild dogs are marked exactly the same, making it easy to identify individuals. Hmm, so like human fingerprints. African wild dogs are highly social and live in packs, typically consisting of 10 to 15 members, although packs of up to 40 have been recorded. Family is very important to most wild dogs. Male and female often stay together for years, sometimes even for life, forming a family, a pack that works together in almost every aspect of their lives. From hunting to caring for the young, they raise their pups together, and in some cases, like with humans, the young ones can stay with their parents even after they've grown up. In this way, they form large family groups known as packs. More like a long-distance runner than a sprinter, not long before they single out a target, the chase picks up speed. Once they have locked onto their prey, they just keep on pursuing remorselessly until their prey is exhausted. These opportunistic predators hunt a wide variety of prey, including gazelles and other antelopes, warthogs, wildebeest calves, rats, and birds. African wild dogs are notorious for eating their prey alive, cruel maybe for our human ears, but for them it is a necessity they have to gulp down a meal as quickly as possible before they are driven off their kill by more powerful predators such as lions or scavenging hyenas. Having a high metabolism, they need to eat frequently. After a successful hunt, they will gorge themselves, consuming up to 10 pounds of meat in a single meal, and then rest until their next hunt. Like most predators, they play an important role in eliminating sick and weak animals, thereby helping maintain the natural balance and improve prey species. Similar to a greyhound in a sprint, these animals can reach a speed of more than 44 miles per hour. Just incredible. Of the large carnivores, wild dogs are probably the most efficient hunters targeted prey rarely escapes. They use a variety of vocalizations, including twittering and whining sounds, to communicate with each other during hunts and other activities. Mm -hmm. 
Wild dogs also use body language such as tail wagging and ear movements to convey messages within the pack. Though they were once found throughout the continent from desert to mountain habitats, African wild dogs have disappeared from most of their geographic range. These days, African wild dogs typically roam the open plains and sparse woodlands of Sub-Saharan Africa. Listed as endangered, with fewer than 6,000 individuals remaining in the wild, habitat loss, human wildlife conflict, and diseases like rabies and distemper transmitted by domestic dogs have contributed to their decline. Unlike many other predators, African wild dogs are highly nomadic, often covering vast distances in search of food. They rarely stay in one place for long and can roam across territories that span hundreds of square kilometers. These animals are known for their strong family bonds and pack loyalty, caring for sick or injured pack members by bringing them food and protecting them until they recover. This level of cooperation and care is rare among carnivores. There is no specific mating season, although there may be an upsurge in mating in the latter rainy season between March and June, a female will choose an underground burrow after a gestation period of about 70 days. Female usually gives birth to large litters, often ranging from 6 to 20 pups. Some will survive to adulthood. Typically, wild dog pup and adult mortality can be incredibly high. After humans, lions are the greatest danger, and in some places, rabies can have a big impact too. The entire pack helps in raising the pups, ensuring they are fed and protected until they are old enough to join in the hunts. Protecting their pack is always their top priority. Pups are fed first after a kill. Aunties look after the pups of other mothers. They know the little ones are the hunting future of the pack. Wild dogs have intricately beautiful family structure. There is much bonding to be done. Just like humans, they know children are the future. Yes, nature is so cool. Click subscribe and go with us through the most interesting world of nature. See you in the next video, World Cut.